What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. Got a special episode for you today and let's start off really quick. I'm going to explain what's going on. First things first, as you know, my defenses are almost maxed out. So I'm going to show you how I farmed my last defensive upgrade. And that last defensive upgrade is, of course, this Archer Tower. And I want to show you this cannon, though, real quick. That is my final cannon, and I will show you guys when it is completed. But this Archer Tower right here in the middle of the screen, this one is the final, final defensive upgrade I'm able to do. So 7.5 million. I just farmed the last of it. Eight days, and we have a maxed out Tunnel 10, guys. Super pumped up about that. I know you guys are, too. It's been a hell of a journey. Two and a half years or whatever of playing this game. And uh, finally maxing the Tunnel 10 out. Farming like crazy the last few days. Dropped from like 3,300 trophies down to 2,800. Just trying to farm as fast as possible in three days. Um, as you can see, working on that King to level 30. He's actually going to level 29. Then I'll get him to 30. After that, I'll work my Queen up to 40, hopefully, or at least 35. And then push my King up. Uh, let's show you the last raid I did, though. This is the one that got me that 7.8 mil. And as you can see, it's a very interesting base. I'm going to drop the lightning, though, to take out that mortar and wizard. And it was probably the wrong one to take out, but not really a big problem. I just didn't want it to cause me any issues. And we did get an archer tower, too, so that's pretty solid. This guy's base is really weak. He's got two expos under construction. And you do got to watch out for that one inferno tower down the bottom left, guarding his gold and elixir. That is going to be a hell of a trap there. So, unfortunately, I lose a few guys trying to get there. And I start testing the, the strength of that Inferno Tower by dropping some archers to see if they're in range. And they are. So, I lose a couple archers, unfortunately. But we do drag that clan castle out, which is good news. And that's because of that hog rider somehow we got in our clan castle. And I start dragging these archers down the bottom, hoping to take out these army camps. But they do not go down because they are guarded well. So, we take out the rest of these archers here. From the clan castle and of course the wizards which is pretty solid pretty easy to do and as you can see just gonna start streaming archers down trying to take out everything i can as fast as possible now the one thing i'm gonna be worried about here guys is trying to get all that gold before the inferno mortar wizard and expo wreck my goblins so dropping a few goblins up top here to take out that one elixir storage and i'm pretty confident we can take it without taking any more there we go. Didn't have to use too many goblins. Not too bad. About, eh, about 11, 12, I think we dropped. Anyway, tested out the strength of this Inferno here with like 15 goblins or whatever. And we do lose them all. So what I have to do, guys, is a little trick I found out that works really well against Infernos is called rushing or overwhelming it. Now, it's called Four Finger Fury, guys. It's just a joke game. But anyway, dropping four fingers down on the board and wrecking with all these goblins. 67 goblins released in about two seconds total which is super fast, allows for you to crush a base. Look at that, barely lost any of them and took all the loot. Now, they're going to die real quick here due to this mortar and inferno towers, but we did get the loot, that's what matters, and the queen is going for that elixir down the bottom. So as she's about to go down, we're going to invis her in a second here. There we go, and add a few extra archers to help her out. Now, she's going to kill that level 9 queen like she doesn't exist and hopefully take out this, oh man, she barely got that mortar before it fired on my archers. Either way, it doesn't matter too much because my queen's going to clutch that last bit of elixir and we are going to get the nice little win. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's move on and show you a few more raids and we'll call it there. But 800,000 or 900,000 with the bonus, really solid raid. Let's go to the next one. All right, we're back and we have our next raid on screen. And this is not that well done, but a pretty solid strategy here. You can see clearing out this wizard tower and mortar on the inside. And then taking out this wizard tower down here in the bottom, along with injuring that cannon pretty heavily. And then all I got to worry about is this one mortar right there, and we're good to go. So what we're going to do is use our queen and clan castle to take that out. And then we will worry about getting the rest of this gold. And of course, the dark elixir, which is actually what I really want over everything else. So here we go, dropping down some troops. We did have some balloons in the clan castle and some minions, which is kind of contradictory to my strategy. But oh well, not going to be... Uh, too big of a problem will help a little bit I guess and okay looks like we're gonna do pretty solid here looks like our troops are gonna continue to move the right way and we're gonna start dropping a little heavier in a minute here I do want to get that dark elixir up top but I'm very concentrated on burrowing into the base and worrying about that gold and of course that dark elixir storage which is really where the money's at so as you can see taking out all the distractions and now wall breaking in here 
and they do get through that first layer. Unfortunately, I didn't distract that expo and it killed most of my wall breakers, so I didn't get through the second one. So now I'm releasing a second wave of wall breakers. Hopefully they make it, and it looks like they might, and they do get through. Awesome. So my giant horde of goblins are now distracting that multi-target inferno and being followed up by my queen in a bunch, a bunch of archers. So my archers are going to take the hits. The goblins do make it through, and with the secondary reinforcement stream, they are going to take that inner gold storage out and now clear out this town hall, it looks like. As long as my queen doesn't take too much damage here, we should be good. She is taking quite a bit of hits here, so I'm going to wait a second until she gets rid of these skeletons, and now I'm going to invis her. Just waiting as long as possible. Now, here we go, because we don't want to waste her strength on something that's going to die easily. So we did manage to pull it off. Unfortunately, she went the wrong direction, did not go for that gold storage, went instead to fight the cannons, and she is going to die here. But we did get 3,000 dark. We did leave these two easy-to-steal dark elixir mines. However, it was only 500 dark, so we are going to be happy with the 3,000 we did take and, of course, the 200,000 gold. And we did get the win, so that does mean we get 100,000 of each, plus we do get some dark elixir also. So we're going to move on to the next one. Actually, you know what? We're going to show a defense real quick. And let's see. Let's see a good defense here. Oh, this is pretty funny. Let's do this one right here. This is hilarious. Five dragons, guys. My base is a defensive killer. Check this out. All these giants go down and distract. And there's the dragons. <laughs> and they're all dying. This guy did such a terrible job. The funny thing is, is that I didn't even have most of my mind set up. So he should have been able to beat me. Even with that, wow. That was cheap. He just dropped a ton of lightning and his level 3 king on me. And he still is not going to get this. Wow. Look at this. So close. And the king is going to die before it gets to town hall. That is rough, guys. Huge, huge disappointment for that guy, I'm sure. But we're going to cut it there, guys. Have a good day. And stay tuned. I'll show you a bunch more defensive raids in the next episode. Peace.